Hey guys, for this video I'm going to show you this little carburetor kit that I picked up on Amazon. I'm trying to get something running over here that hasn't run in a little while. And the carburetor probably just needs to be cleaned, but after looking it up, if I had to get gaskets, it was easier just to get this whole little shindig. So I'll show you what it's supposed to fit anyway. And of course it could fit other things also, but what I got it for. So first off, what you get in the package is the carburetor itself. The little choke knob on the top right here you have to put on yourself but it's just a little pin that just slides over the top but it's got the on off for your gas over here with that lever also in the packaging you get a new fuel line with the little clamps on either side you get three gaskets second one looks like that guy there and the last gasket this guy here you also get a spark plug so we're getting like a whole little tune-up kit here and you get a fuel filter so getting a lot now let me show you what I'm putting this on I bought this little carburetor kit for the predator chipper shredder it has the predator 212 cc engine and for me it'll run when I spray a little starting fluid in there but it won't run just on the gas put fresh gas in carburetor probably just needs to be cleaned but this was, this is easier, so we're doing it this way. So I'll show you how to change out the carburetor on this engine. First thing we gotta do is take the air cleaner apart, or off. We're just gonna take off the swing nut on top. And we got another wing nut here holding the air filter on. Air filter just pops up. We're gonna take off these two nuts right here. These nuts are 10 millimeter, by the way. And that just pulls off like so. We can go ahead and pull the spark plug wire here because it's going through this plastic piece that's kind of a little bit in the way. So we're just going to unhook it there. We need to unhook the throttle rod and the spring for that. And that just... The spring we just unhook like so. And the rod... will line up and then just pull straight up disconnect that. We're going to have to disconnect our fuel line which is right here. Now just to try and save myself from spilling gas I'm going to put one of these guys on the line to uh, keep it from leaking. If you don't have this you could pinch it with some locking pliers or put a bolt in the hole if it fits tight enough. Um, whatever you want to do but gas is expensive these days so we don't want to spill any of it. To take the fuel line off, you just pinch that clamp like that and pull up and it'll slide right off. You might have to use pliers. Mine was weak enough I could use my fingers. Lucky me. And then the carburetor just slides right off the front of these studs. You're going to have a gasket here and then this plastic guy that the fuel line was in. And the spark plug wire. So we'll take that off and there will also be another gasket behind there which I already scraped off and removed previously. Now we just have to put it back together. So you see this gasket that came in the new kit with the little D-shaped hole? See the shape of that hole? This one goes on first, just like so. Just like so. I'm going to slide it down. Be careful not to rip it. Actually, I had to flip it over so the numbers were facing the inside, but you can see it matches up nice and pretty. So then we have to put our plastic piece back on, and that goes on just like so. This gasket was sitting just like that, so we'll move this guy out of the way. Easier to do with two hands. Okay, black plastic pieces back in. Then we need to get the guy that matches this. Which is this one right here. See how it lines up beautifully just like so. so we get rid of the old. Bring in the new. Now we slide on our new carburetor just like so 
now is a good time to put your fuel line back on. It's easier to do it now than after this thing's bolted up because you'll have less room to play with. Also get your spark plug wire back in the clip like it's supposed to so it's not in the way of everything uh, seating like it should. Now we can hook up our throttle rod and return spring. So again, this guy's just going to fall through this hole up here. Another one of those. You'll have an easier time with two hands doing this. If you have a hard time getting this rod to seat back in the hole, what's stopping it is this little idle screw there. So you can back that up just so you can get your rod into place and then push it back or screw it back into the position that it was before. Next, we put this gasket on just like so. We have this guy here gonna go on just like so and we're putting our little plastic piece back on this hose right there gets jammed in that hole so make sure that goes where it's supposed to otherwise we're just sliding on the studs and I knocked off this thing earlier I gotta put this guy back on so he just sits just like so just like that and we need him in forward position so we can slide this on this guy in the forward in the off position. Get our hose pushed in there. And time to put our nuts back on. Now we can put our air cleaner back together. Slide this guy on top. And wing nut. And cover. wing nut again don't forget to hook the spark plug back up and let's see if she'll run got the throttle up we got the choke on start turn that on got a little red knob over here that's got to be turned on Hope we got gas. We got a little bit, not much. Uh, it'll take a few pulls, but let's see what happens. Well, there it is, boys and girls. That's how you put a new carburetor on your wood chipper. Thanks for watching.